there's more important things and taking care of myself is very annoying. But I'm trying. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Good morning. How are you doing? We're leaving today. Uh, we're gonna go make some new friends. So, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey, so we don't usually film when we take the kids to school. So, we just don't film the whole entire day. But, today, I did go shopping for some new things. And, I have an idea of what I want to do. I have been looking everywhere. The couch I want is going to be around $3,000 to replace what we have. We have a couch that is made out of wood. It has got the material on it that is threadbare in many, many places, and it's like shiny threadbare. So I put this down just yesterday and I was like, ooh, I like the feel of it. It's really soft and it's white and it looks really good. You can see how yellowish tan this is. When we film in here, it makes everything in here look tan and green. Like my hair looks yellow, not tan. It makes everything look yellow. Um, it, it's just filming in here. So I'm gonna change the curtains out. I may keep these, the white ones, The they're like linen uh, faux linen, fake linen. Linen's expensive. You wouldn't think so because peasants probably wore it. <laughs> it's expensive now, but so is lobster and that's a peasant food as well. Anyway, I went to the store. I had looked up a bunch of different things. This is much lighter material and you can even bleach this. I don't know if this one's 100% cotton. Anyway, there are a lot of videos out there. Material canvas. So this is a canvas drop cloth. It doesn't say anything about it being cotton. If it's cotton, you can bleach it. But this is so much lighter than what my couch is. I was like, oh, that's not gonna be a very big change, but it's a huge change. It's like 10 shades lighter, at least five shades lighter. So that's gonna look pretty good. Now, you could see all over the place people slip covering their furniture. I don't want to slip cover. I want to like reupholster it. But I do want to make slip cover cushions. Uh, and I want to put the cushions together. I want to have like two of the cushions I want as one cushion. And then we'll have, you know, we got like a love seat right here. It's, it's a sectional. J, basically. We have a chaise lounge. I want that to be a whole cushion because it's a big cushion. I want this love seat to be a cushion and I want the couch to be a cushion, right? So this is like a whole set all in one. Adar's working outside right now. We're gonna put in the, a fire pit and stuff, but I also, dude, I have so many projects. Anyway, what I'm going to do with this today is just basically if it's in a good quality and if we like it and we like the color, you probably do have to wash it first because there's probably like a chemical and stuff on it. Wash it, let it shrink up. Now everybody's been saying that this this material shrinks. This is 9 by 12. When I'm done with it, it'll be something like 7 and a half by 10. So it shrinks that much. This is so heavy. We had... A really hard time carrying I had Abigail carry it because she went in with me I had Abigail carry one and I carry the other one this is super heavy um, really really thick material so anyway so what people are doing with it is taking a 9 by 12 and they're getting you can get clips on Amazon for super cheap they're very expensive they're like almost a dollar a piece at Walmart seven of them was six something for the little uh, clips and then they have a circle on them you put them over a rod but on Amazon you can get a hundred of them any size you want for like $20 yeah, even less than that it depends so I want to completely change out all of my curtains to be all the same even though these are some of them are very nice uh, these right here are what's it called the blackout they're super stiff, they're hard to move, and they're hard to look good. Like, 
hard to get them straight and we want to constantly be moving these you know so I don't know we need something different but if you look it up drop cloth curtains and they're just you just basically cut them in half and it makes a curtain so I figured this this would be enough for four panels at least to cover this whole corner right here. So if I wanted to do like the other side, I would have to buy probably three packages, four packages maybe, and to do the window, the sliding glass door window. Anyway, if they come out good, I want to do it on the porch outside as well because uh, I did want to put curtains up there to keep the rain and stuff down off of our furniture. So this I am putting on the couch today and I got two 9x12s. You do have to wash it but I'm just going to like dry fit it now and see how it does. I went to the Dollar Tree. Got some sponges. They're multi-purpose. I usually use them for washing dishes but after they're done washing dishes I wash the bathroom with them. I just keep one in there after it's no longer cleaning in the kitchen. Hadar keeps handing me a, what is it called? A, a handyman, Swiss nice, leather, leather, leather man, leather man. I got me a basic screwdriver set. Okay. Dollar Tree. It comes with a level. There ain't no girl in this house leveling nothing. I use my eyeballs. Okay, got some herbal charcoal no fluoride toothpaste. We all use this, but I'm pretty sure the kids are out of it, so I got each of them one. Um, this has a hole in it, so you can either use it as a hand rake, and this is metal. Dollar twenty-five for freaking garden tools that are metal. I mean, even if you wanted to, like, make a craft out of it or something, some people, some people do that. I don't do that. I got this for the yard, but you could put a stick in it as well. So, that's for a dollar twenty-five. You're, you're not, you are not finding that anywhere. I got this for the kids, because they do speak on the phone quite a bit for, like, Zoom meetings and stuff. So... When they do that on their telephone, they don't have a phone. When they do that on our telephone, it holds up. Do you see it? It's like a thumbs upper. Thumbs up this video. And like and subscribe. Okay, so to go with my curtains, this is six foot long and I love the color of this. It is a little lighter than the curtains are going to be. And I think probably if you did bleach this, it would come out the same color as this. I love the color of this. Now they have um, this at Dollar Tree. They have the like jute looking one. Uh, it's darker. It's probably darker in my couch. A little darker. And then they have this colored one. And this one's called Nautical Rope Cotton. And if it's cotton, you know you can dye it. So it's going to be easy to dye. So, oh, apparently I got three toothpastes. Good for me. Okay, and I got a sponge holder that has two suction cups and some holes at the bottom. Acrylic, probably. Some type of plastic that hopefully doesn't break easily. It feels stronger than acrylic. I think it's just plastic. I got these for my kitchen to put my sponge in. Or my rag or whatever I'm using, but mostly for a sponge. I got this. These are so expensive if you buy them anywhere else. $1.25. This is a vanity organizer. So you can put your brush or your brushes if you're doing makeup and stuff like that. Um, I don't really do makeup anymore. Uh, I'm trying to take care of myself, but there's more important things and taking care of myself is very annoying. But I'm trying. So we got a big container and it's got a little tiny container. Put some hair or something in there. And then a smaller off the side thing. It might go in the bathroom, it might go on my vanity desk, and it might go to Abigail. We don't know yet. I got some more of these because we live in Florida and homes are very wet 
in Florida, we have a lot of humidity. It's very humid here. So in order to keep the dampness out of the house, they also have a product called Damp Rid and it is very expensive. This for $1.25, it's self-contained. All you do is take off the silver at the top and then you put it right back on. You leave the paper that's underneath of it on there. And then you put this back on so it seeps through the paper and it attracts the water and when these things like absorb the water the water goes down to the bottom so when these are gone and this is full it's time to change it out and get a new one and throw it away okay so another thing that the dollar tree has power facial cleansing brush i'm hoping this comes with a brush I actually didn't check to see that it does, but it has replacement brushes. I think I hear a brush in there. It has replacement brushes at the store. So I got a pink one, and that one's for Abigail. And I got a light blue one, very pretty. And this one is for Raphael. Same things. Nice brush. What else did I get? Oh, I got some more. Oh, this one has activated charcoal in it. Um, probably don't really need activated charcoal unless you're actually running water. It's activated charcoal is for like water filter. I don't know if it does so much for the air. I haven't ever seen an air filter with charcoal in it. So it might just be a gimmick, but it's got charcoal in it, activated charcoal. And apparently the Dollar Tree likes to sell stuff with charcoal in it for $1.25. <laughs> okay, so that is all that I got at Dollar Tree. Yep, yeah, that's it. But I got one other thing. And I don't have it now. I don't have it now? Hold on. Okay, I think it's in the car. Because it's not in the Walmart bag. So I think it fell out in the car. So I'll get it in a minute. Because I know I bagged it. But I want to show you this. It comes wrapped up in plastic. So that's nice. This... You can use this on your face. You could probably also clean very delicate things. Maybe even uh, jewelry or something. Or like pictures that you need to be really delicate with. Okay, I'm going to have to add a battery to it, I think. Oh, I think I'm, fil I'm filming in the wrong... I was filming all day in the wrong mode, so I don't know who was touching my camera. Oh my goodness, it is weird now. Okay, so that one's Raphael's. And this one's yours. I can put it together? Surely. Do you know how to do it? Yeah, I know. All right. It's super easy. So we've got a lot going on here. I am about to take this table and this chair outside where they were supposed to go in the first place. So when I make curtains for the outside, I got to put batteries in it, honey. And then it's for your face. You can wash your face with it, yeah. Yeah, no. Just I, for you. Now I don't have to use my hands. That's right. They don't have to get wet. Absolutely. Do you add water to it or something? Uh, yeah, just a little bit, but you can't, like, I don't think you can fully put it in the water. Yeah, do not immerse the handle in water. You just want to put just a little tip of the brushes in the water, okay? All right, yeah, we do need to put two double-A batteries in it, and then we can use it. You happy? Yeah. It's going to go around in a circle. No, not on me. That's only for you, okay? Okay. There it is. That sounds like a kettle. It is ramping up, buddy. It ramps up. And it's a literal kettle. It's going pretty fast. All right, so you're going to be washing your face with that and then rinsing it off and putting pew, it back. Pew, pew, pew. You can put it in with your cubby stuff. Okay. Sounds good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Hadar's going to make lunch and I'm going to put this on the couch. And for now, it's just going to be a slip cover. 
but eventually I want to like add pillows to this and I'm thinking if I buy like a pillow from Walmart because last time I bought pillows they were less than five dollars a piece so I'm thinking if I buy like five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty dollars worth of pillows to do the back end and then I buy like I don't know what kind of foam I would get that would be affordable I want to spend like maybe $250 buying foam and pillow batting you know polyfill to refill this because it is it just needs a little bit I think like a firm pillow would probably be good my mother hates to sit on this couch she needs a cushion in the back so maybe just putting like a pillow in the front permanently and then see how it, these are attached right so if I like had some piping going down here to you know and staple it with a piping down here with the pillow I think that would be nice but that's for another project right now I just want to cover the couch to see how it looks I guess you can see why it needs to be washed because my clothes are completely full of lint. I just wanted to put it on there to see what it would look like. I definitely want this color of couch. Not this color. This looks dirty. And I've washed the cushions because they do come off so you can wash them. And it just stays a dirty color. It's threadbare. It's a really good couch. We like the size of it if it it's literally all of us plus two more people three more if we had to like two people laying down so it fits a lot of people I like it so definitely going to wash this it does have seams right in the middle of it uh, some people say you get lucky you don't get seams I don't care for this but I might I might not care for the curtains I kind of like the way seams look but with this seams are folded both ways and it's like they didn't care which way the hem was so on both sides you can't tell which side is the front and which side is the back because of the hems so I'm going to wash this probably twice I'm gonna open the other one make sure that it is okay there is so much material on this like they did not spin dry this they didn't like put a blower on it it's all the dirt right now all of the and it smells like it was made in a factory that also produces mold or something there's some kind of smell on it it's not highly chemical but it, there's a smell on it so i am going to take it off well, I'll put the other one up just to make sure that it's okay. I think two will do this entire couch with a little more leftover for maybe a pillow or something. But this one will have to be cut in half to do this and that. Unless I can some, some way figure out how to do... Yeah, I might do that. I might see if I can figure out how to go right with that. We'll see. I'm just looking at the quality to see if it doesn't have holes and 
runs and stuff in it. It's not the best quality, I can tell you that. But it looks like it's going to be a good quality for us to use as a couch material. And especially when you put it in a washer, it'll get soft. If you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like. Comment and share, fully living. Who knows what that is? No idea. She wants a gazebo. A what? My wiper won't work up there. Lord have mercy. That looks like a spider splatter. Ooh. Cheap plastic stuff. Oh no. Oh my. I'm a horrible planter. For some reason, there's a lot of controversy around it. 